Warning. Bleach or sodium hypochlorite based detergents are quite hazardous to your health and others. Do not can get any on your skin, in your eyes. Do not ingest. Uh, can cause uh, burns or death. Do not mix with other chemicals. Please uh, follow the advice of this uh, tutorial uh, strictly. Can be diluted uh, with water. Keep out of reach of children. Do not attempt tutorial if you're under the age of 18. And if anything goes uh, pear-shaped, uh, contact emergency services, ambulance, or chemical hotline helps. Thank you. Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConnor Man at YouTube. And I do apologize for the very heavy OH&S uh, message at the start of the video. We have a tendency of using dangerous products within this uh, hobby. Uh, I don't personally want to be liable and most importantly I don't want anyone um, hurting or injuring themselves uh, using these products not armed with the correct information. More information on health and safety of uh, bleach will be in the link below of uh, Wikipedia and uh, we'll just uh, leave that uh, there. Today we're going to be looking at the rumor of stripping paint using bleach, soaking plastic overnight. I would like to conduct an experiment and see if uh, plastic or any other modeling material will be affected anyway through this uh, process. Let's check it out. Most likely you will not have to go out and buy anything uh, specially, any sort of bleach or home disinfectant product that has uh, sodium hypochlorite uh, as a major ingredient written on the bottle will be good enough. Just make sure to put it away and keep it out of uh, hands of uh, children. Also this uh, shit will stain your clothes just as a warning outside of uh, the safety stuff. Now the story goes, I've got this uh, tank, I'm not too sure what it is, where it's come from and uh, what scale it is. It's a very brittle, very old fashioned styrene that I dug out of my father's toy box when I was quite young visiting uh, grandma. Over the years I've uh, practiced all sorts of uh, painting techniques on it and I've uh, used uh, multiple primers, lacquers, acrylics, enamels, uh, water-based stuff and just kept layering it so thickly all the detail is uh, lost. I would like to strip them down and go back to uh, practice uh, painting the sky with uh, a new round of tutorials on primer and shading and whatnot. So what you'll need is a sealable uh, plastic container like so, anything from the $2 shop or food container that uh, fits all the pieces of your model. Uh, it's simple, place it in there and fill it up to the top of the kit in bleach. Uh, don't splash yourself. It's best to be in a sealable container as you can close it and store it away somewhere in a cabinet or whatnot that you only have uh, access to to prevent any... Um, incidences. Within the container allow your pieces to soak for approximately 24 hours or uh, a tad longer and uh, pull it out uh, with uh, water and old clothing on standby for the cleanup process. It's uh, fairly easy uh, once you take it out and rinse the pieces the uh, paint should just easily easily uh, peel off by pushing it with your fingers or just uh, washing down the drain. Uh, it is uh, safe to dilute or pour this uh, chemical straight in the drain as it immediately uh, gets diluted by water and becomes some sort of like a pool chlorine uh, substance. So you're not going to get in trouble uh, with uh, your local government or anything. If anything you might unblock your drain. As you can see in the video, no effort uh, pushing all the paint off. Anything stuck in panels and detail can be taken out with a toothpick or your uh, nail. Uh, immediately rinse off with uh, water and dry and it's ready for uh, painting or modifying all over again.
Now the first time I've heard about this technique, the first thing on my mind was uh, multimedia kits and especially Gundam kits. Is this going to destroy polycaps? Is it uh, going to destroy tracks of a uh, soft vinyl kit? Is it going to fog up clear pieces? And is it true that special coated foil pieces such as the shiny uh, Gundam kits can also um, be lifted off using bleach? Uh, the selection of items here, I've got a piece of resin, uh, Gundam model kit polycap, uh, clear styrene canopy off an aircraft kit, uh, a bit of um, special coated piece off a Macross uh, Valkyrie Bandai kit, and a small piece of vinyl track off the 72nd Airfix kit. I want to see uh, how these react after 24 hours uh, soak. As you can see, uh, the five pieces are sitting in the container. I assure you they actually sat in there for a day and a half due to not me being able to access uh, this work immediately, work and whatnot. Let's have a look at the results. Same go, uh, rinsed off underwater and immediately inspected them. The uh, resin, unchanged. Actually, uh, the release agent isn't on it anymore. Probably a good form of uh, cleaning. The vinyl track, uh, unaffected. Bandai polycaps, unaffected. Kept its shape, kept firm, didn't go all soft and uh, loose. Clear styrene is unaffected, no fogging. Uh, the piece came out nice, glossy and clean. The interesting piece, the special coated uh, piece did uh, we weaken and loosen and it was able to come off uh, very easily with my fingers. To my surprise, this old kit is actually uh, clear uh, orange acetate like plastic not quite uh, styrene and there's a bit of a super glue mark in the uh, corner but yes uh, special coated kits do do quite well in this uh, scenario if you want to strip them off without uh, sanding them or any other tedious process all in all I'm calling this uh, theory debunked uh, bleach is an amazing paint stripper of uh, all sorts of uh, material kits and it can strip uh, any paint off uh, successfully in as little work as humanly possible as the process of the tank without having any um, negative effects on multimedia parts. Thank you very much for watching and as always check out uh, for more videos and tutorials. Just remember to remain um, vigilant when uh, handling these uh, chemicals, especially around family or other um, individuals that can hurt themselves. Catch you guys later.